Hello everyone and welcome back. This video is going to start our journey into the back end. Um, so this means we're really going to start making full stack web applications where we've already covered the front end, we've spent a good deal of time talking about HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and now you have the tools you need to actually build web pages. So now we're going to get into the back end where we're going to start talking about the technologies used to serve those web pages up. For the next few units, um, we're not going to really do much with the front end. We're going to just make some dummy HTML files, but that's pretty much it. Instead, we're going to focus on getting a solid understanding of the back end technologies, and then we're going to come back and bring them both together to make full stack web applications. Our objectives for this unit are as follows. We're going to understand the basics of how the internet works. This is going to be a review because we've already talked about this a couple times but we're going to review it because it's very important applied in the context of the back end. We're going to understand some common technology stacks and what do we mean by we talking about stacks. We're going to differentiate between static and dynamic web pages. We're going to understand the basics of HTTP requests and we're going to differentiate between common HTTP methods. We're going to get a high level understanding of the interaction between front end and back end technologies and we're also, this is the hands on part, going to set up a cloud IDE using Gorm IDE. If you've never heard of Gorm IDE before, that's perfectly fine. They're a South Korean company that basically gives you virtual machines that you can access from anywhere from within your web browser. They're, it's pretty cool. You can think of it kind of like um, AWS or Google Cloud Computer, things like that. It's just a little bit more beginner friendly and doesn't have as much overhead. It's also, for um, the version we're going to be using, entirely free. That's why we're choosing to use the Gorm IDE instead of one of those other options. In this video, we talked about the objectives for this entire unit. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'll be happy to help. Thanks.